What's up world, King James, and we are back at Gallery 530 as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. I am standing here with Emma. She is a upcoming artist that you want to definitely look out for in the near future. Emma, welcome to the show today. Thank you. We are standing in front of some of your art. I see that you have a couple pieces up. Um, right now, tell us about this painting. A lot of curvature. <laughs> um, well, obviously all of these are female form, and I don't know, I think there's something very fluid in you know, the curves of the, the female body that I've always enjoyed just drawing or painting. Um, with this painting, as well as this one, which I don't know if it's in the frame or not, um, there are different paintings underneath, but really, they they didn't work for what I was going for. I didn't sketch this out prior, um, so this was just from my head as I painted it. Um, but I think I like painting over an initial painting because I get more texture. So, did you have a sp specific? inspiration to develop this piece or you just sat down and was like you know what I want to draw a lady with some great curvature um, well I went to school at UC Davis and I got a minor nice. in art so nice. um, you know part of it is <laughs> just with schooling and nice. um, there wasn't a specific assignment with it but just working out the areas of interest sweet and overall I think I watched a lot of cartoons as a kid and my grandma took me to a lot of art museums, so. Nice. What was one of your favorite cartoons as a kid? Uh, well, I liked Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> yes, Ren and Stimpy. Oh. Dang it, Ren! But, um, oh my gosh, so, so many cartoons. Um, Ren and Stimpy, I watched a lot of anime, too. Um, as nice. I got a little bit older, nice. I guess I'd say, Aeon Flux is probably my favorite cartoon. Yes, Very graphic. yes. MTV's Aeon Flux, referring to, definitely a great, great, great show. Now, for our viewers that are watching at home, watching our show right now, they may be artists or they may want to get into this field. Do you have any advice to give them? Keep doing your art because the only way that you get better is by practicing and continuing the process. You do get rusty if you stop doing art. It's just like any other Definitely. any other talent. You Definitely. know, if you don't draw every day, you, you're not as accurate or you Definitely. can't project what you want to. So, like Grandma always says, practice, practice, practice. So, thank you very much for coming on the show and for our viewers that are watching at home and they're sitting back, they want more of this. Do you have a con e email for them to read? Is there a way of them contacting you? They can contact me at happyjoylove at gmail.com. There you have it. <laughs> Emma, thank you once again for coming on the show. I am standing here with Erin. She is a local artist here in town. Erin, could you tell us how long have you been an artist? I have been painting for a year. I have about six paintings and um, Jackie Morgan is an art instructor and she um, is fabulous and she's been helping me uh, develop my talents. <laughs> nice, nice. So did you go to any kind of art school or it's basically training that you've had? Yeah, never been to art school. Never been to art school. Sometimes that's the best art. Aaron, we're standing in front of your piece right now, and uh, could you tell our viewers out here a little bit about uh, inspiration on uh, developing such a beautiful piece? Uh, my inspiration uh, comes from my children and my family and love and support of friends. Also the amazing artist Robert Bateman and um, really it's just my kids really inspire me to see the beauty in life that um, as adults in a fast-paced world, we kind of forget. That's great. That's great. Definitely family. I know it comes first for me. Now, I'm looking at this piece. The owl, did you happen, when you created this piece, were you looking at an owl? Or how did the owl come into mind? Um, a painting by Robert Bateman. He has a painting of owls in, in a cave-like setting. It's my inspiration there for the owl piece. <laughs> nice, nice. Now for our viewers watching at home who may be inspired by this piece or trying to do the same thing themselves, do you have any advice for any upcoming artists like yourself? Pick up a paintbrush and just do it. 
There you have it. Aaron, thank you very much thank for coming you. on the show. You want to stay tuned more. We're here at Gallery 530 Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. What's up, world? King James. We are back at Gallery 530 as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. I am standing here with upcoming artist Natalie. Natalie, welcome to the show. Thank you. So, tell me, how long have you been an artist? Um, I started painting when, oh geez, about 10 years ago. 10 years ago. So did it start in high school or after high school? Did you go in kind of any kind of art school or art academy? Oh yeah, actually when I was in high school, um, I started, I took my first art class. I, art has always been in my life. But, um, nice, so nice. I took my first art class as a sophomore. My teacher recommended me to Art Start. It's a local nonprofit organization in town. Tell us where that's located. Our viewers are watching at home right now. Um, Bennett Valley Road. Bennett Valley. Bennett Valley Road. Um, okay. They hire young artists to do public commissions. Um, so I got my start in that about 10 years ago. Nice. Um, and from there, I went on to the JC. And then I studied abroad in Italy doing art and architecture. Art and so you've been to, you studied in Italy as well? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So you speak a little Italian? No uh, little Italiano. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, is there anything you can tell some of maybe our Italiano viewers out there? Ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. We're standing in front of uh, one of your pieces right now, one of the larger pieces that we've seen this evening. Could you tell us some of the inspiration? What's going on in this in this painting right now? Um, well, basically, this, this painting was born out of um, a lot of turmoil in my life. It's kind of like my whole life is coming down on me. It's crashing down. This is a little person? It's a little person. That is, that is awesome. And they can't really find any shelter or anything to get out of the way of these, these falling bricks. So you just kind of have to ride it out and let it go. Wow. So how long did this specific piece take you? At least four hours on it a day. Four hours a day. And how many weeks once again? A week. Yeah. About a week. Wow. So what was your reaction when Kaleidoscope gave you a call and they said, hey, we want to display your work in our show tonight? Oh, I was Watching, they want to see more of your work. Is there, a, is there an email address like you said, Facebook for them to contact you? At? Yeah, um, I have a Facebook. It's Natalie Bertoli Art. Um, my email is NatalieBertoli at gmail.com. Um, I have a website, NatalieBertoli.com, and I have a lot of photographs. I'm also a photographer. I have a lot of photographs up there. And some of my paintings. Sweet. Sounds like Natalie's definitely another upcoming artist that you want to look out for in the near future. <laughs> Natalie, once again, thank you for coming on the show. Viewers, keep it locked in. We have more from Gallery 530. Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. Earlier today, UTV got to sit down with Rafa Fuji from Gallery 530 to talk about Heartbreakers 2. Check it out. My name is Rafa Fuji. I'm an artist from Santa Rosa, California. I tried to get my work in, in local galleries and it was really hard to. And um, one of my friends, Jimmy Esquivel or Jimmy Hits, um, was throwing these small kaleidoscope shows and he invited me to be in one of the shows and that's how I became a part of this whole kaleidoscope. And then months later, I, I got uh, a building for myself. I started leasing it and I asked him to collaborate and we basically hooked up me, Jimmy, Roman and Cody on this project. And that's how we got to throw 15 art shows this past year. Right now, I'm starting a small little clothing brand called See Me. Stands for Cause I Made It or Created in My Image, but not exactly my image or that I made it, but basically whoever wears it, you know, 
they made it in in their life and they're doing something positive and creating something um you can you can find me at seemi.storeenvy.com or you can facebook me just just look for cons fuji um or see me and you'll you'll find you'll find me but um thank you to uh king james for doing this for us and i'll see y'all in the future peace What's up world, King James, and we are here at Gallery 530 as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. Right now I am standing here with upcoming artist Laura, and we're standing in front of a couple of her pieces right here. How long have you been an artist, Laura? You know, I started drawing when I was a very young girl. Um, my dad was kind of the inspiration behind that. Um, about nine years ago, I just decided to start painting. And um, I fell in love with it because I was able to put on the canvas all those wonderful, bright, vivid colors that I am so attracted to in everyday life and in nature. And I just fell in love with it. You have three paintings here in tonight's show. Could you tell me which one is your favorite and which one is your most recent? Of course. Um, the big one is my most recent. Um, I call it Where Flame Does Rest. Um, mostly because it's just, it, it feels so peaceful, so serene. And this is a place where there is no fire, where there is no anger, where there is no anything but extreme peace and beauty and quiet and calm and um, what more to describe what better to describe that than water and the ripples it gives so where do you get most of your inspiration from nature or how does how does these creative thoughts come to process well um it's kind of funny I'm sometimes I dream dreams and um, this one the pregnant woman um, is a dream that I had and um, I kind of found out later that it is all feminine attributes the pregnancy the moon the water the blue those are all very feminine elements and yes. um, this one I just um, I just started painting I kind of screwed up my eyes and um, this is what came to my mind and it just put it on canvas and I finished it in a day or two um, I, I get pictures in my mind of things that I'm going to paint, and I paint them. Nice, nice. So, let me ask you, what was your favorite subject in high school? Art and horses. <laughs> horses were my life. <laughs> of course, of course. Now, did you go to any kind of additional schooling after high school? Did you go to any kind of art academies or any kind of special training? I didn't. Um, like I said, my dad was a great inspiration to me as an artist. Um, and I took one class at the JC, which I loved, um, and pretty much everything else, I'm still figuring it out as I go. <laughs> Sweet. Sometimes that's the best way to do it. So, Laura, in the future, where do you see your art taking you? Two great places. <laughs> far and above Santa Rosa, as far as I can take it. Um, for those of you who think about painting, um, and those of you who say, can't paint. I say just pick up the paintbrush and try. Put some, put some paint on the canvas, put some paint on something and just try because I think it's within all of us. There you have it. Laura, thank you once again and for our viewers watching at home that are enjoying these pieces like I am, is there a contact email for them to reach you at? Of course. You can reach me at Laura B. Larson, L-A-U-R-A B. Larson, L-A-U- L-A-R-S-E-N at Yahoo.com. Laura, thank you very much once again for coming on the show and good luck. This is definitely one talented artist you want to look out for in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's up world? King James. We're here at Gallery 530 as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2. Right now I am standing with Nicole and she is one of the upcoming artists here this evening that has her art displayed. Nicole, welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, right behind us, we have some of your work. Could you tell us some of your inspiration behind this piece? My inspiration? Um, I lived for three years in Mexico, nice. and I, I lived for a year and a half in Tijuana, and a year and a half in Rosarito Beach, and I I did this off 
and on through my years in Mexico. And um, it was just uh, something that was very close to me and something that I, it's hard for me to part with. Hard for me to put a, hard for me to put a price on. So uh, is your artwork for sale here this evening or? Yes, it is. Okay. Do you have any advice for any upcoming artists out there that are watching? Tell them. Yes, I do, actually. I always tell this to people, is people who say, I wish I could draw. Take a, take a class, because people who think they can't draw, you just take one class, you just gotta look at things a little bit differently. That's all it takes, look at things a little bit differently. That's great advice, Nicole. Now, tell us, when you got the call from Kaleidoscope that they wanted your work displayed here this evening, tell us how that feel as an upcoming artist to have that type of opportunity. It was wonderful. Everybody here is very great and um, very family oriented and just very sweet. And so to, to have that call is just like a blessing. And um, I'm great, to, so happy to be a part of it. Maybe you can, this is a good, beat, good time for our viewers that are sitting at home and watching. Do you have an email address maybe that you'd like to tell them if they want more information about your artwork? Sure, it's T-E-A-M -T dot A-C-A-I at yahoo.com. More where this came from, I have other paintings around here. Nicole, thank you once again for coming on the show, and we are definitely grateful for your artwork, and uh, good luck the rest of the evening. Hopefully this wall will be bare by the end of the night. And is there anything else that you'd like to tell our viewers out there? Um, yeah. Take an art class. Just one, okay? Just one. one you'll be an artist before you know it. Nice. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it locked in right here. We have more from Gallery 530 as Kaleidoscope presents Heartbreakers 2.